Programmers write code in a high-level language, something easy to understand by humans. But that's actually not what computers need. Computers need machine code, something they understand. Examples of high-level languages are things like Java, C, Scala, Python, things like this. We need a compiler interpreter to transform the source code that we write in high-level language into something at machine level. Compilers and interpreters are programs themselves. All they do is take source code and turn it into machine code. The real difference between a compiler and interpreter is really how they go about things. A compiler scans the entire program and translates it as a whole into machine code. It can take a large amount of time to analyze a source code, but the overall performance of the program is faster because the translation is done ahead of time. More substantial programs like games and operating systems are typically written in compiled languages for the best performance possible. An interpreter translates one program statement at a time. It takes less amount of time to scan and translate the code, but the program runs slower because it has to translate, then execute one statement, then translate back and forth. Interpreters are better for programs that don't need to execute as fast, like helper scripts on your laptop or programs that require frequent changes. Both approaches have pros and cons, so most professional programmers know at least one interpreted language and one compiled language. Examples of interpreted languages are Python, JavaScript, and Perl. Examples of compiled languages are Java, Scala, and C++. Next, we'll discuss what a computer is. More specifically, we'll discuss what role your CPU has in your computer and what your CPU does with machine code instructions. Let's start with CPUs, central processing units. CPUs execute instructions in a four-step cycle. This is called a CPU cycle. The first step is to load a single instruction from memory into the CPU for decoding. The second step is to decode the instruction into an even more specific set of logic and arithmetic commands that the CPU understands. Each CPU has a different instruction set. The CPU decoding step prepares various areas of the CPU to execute the instructions. The execute phase executes all of the decoded CPU instructions, stores the results in memory, and prepares the CPU for the next CPU cycle. Okay, here's the nuanced part. The number of instructions executed in a cycle are variable, but the number of cycles that it takes to execute an instruction is fixed. Okay, so hang on, brace yourself. We don't measure the speed of a CPU in CPU cycles. We measure the speed of a CPU in clock cycles. Each processor has a different speed measured in clock cycles per second. Each clock cycle triggers one or more CPU cycles. A 3 GHz CPU has 3 billion clock cycles per second, but we can't say for sure that it has 3 billion CPU cycles per second. This makes it hard to measure real performance of a CPU based only on clock speed. We really care about CPU cycles, not clock cycles, so it's important to understand the difference between the two. Now we've actually got to schedule all those instructions. A computer has so many responsibilities, from turning source code into machine code, to scheduling instructions and processing those instructions, that it can make a computer feel like a busy airport. Just like how an airport feels chaotic, but operations are mostly smooth aside from the occasional error, the operations of a computer are also very well controlled. Each component within your computer has a specific role in executing programs. If you think of your computer like an airport, Planes would be instructions and the runway would be the CPU. Just as planes need access to the runway, instructions need access to the CPU. And just like air traffic control schedules access to the runway, your operating system schedules access to the CPU. In this episode we covered what source code is, and how that source code is translated by a compiler or an interpreter to machine code. Machine code is a series of instructions scheduled by your operating system and fetched by the CPU during a CPU cycle. The CPU cycle fetches, decodes, and processes instructions, placing the result of the instruction back into memory. CPU cycles are triggered by clock cycles. Millions or billions of clock cycles happen per second, depending on the speed of your computer. One or more CPU cycles happens per clock cycle. Thanks for watching.